Hello everyone, my name is Lin Chen, the speaker of this presentation. I am from Graduate School and Faculty of Information Science and Electrical Engineering, Kyushu University in Japan. It's my great honor to have the opportunity to present our research here. The theme of our presentation is on ultra high sensitive source gas sensor to detect geosmy. As we know, the quality of water is vital for our health. However, geosmy and the two methanistopenia produced by a variety of microorganisms are responsible for the earthy and musty taste and odor of drinking water. In healthy drinking water, the concentration of these two materials are regulated to less than 10 ppt. Typically, GCMS method is employed to analyze the geosmy. The GCMS method is characteristic by high sensitivity. It's hard to detect the geosmy by 1 ppt order. What's more, the required equipment is very costly and the pre-treatment procedure is time consuming. Therefore, it's very helpful to develop a fast and portable water sensing system for the detection of water samples outside of the laboratory. As we all know, such technology is a labor free sensing technology, which has an ultra high sensitivity to a signal molecule and a fast response time. Based on this advantage, we recommend to use this technology to develop a fast and portable detection method. Such signal mainly generated from hot spot, which appears near nanoscale gaps of plasmonic mental nanostructures. In our proposal, such substrate will be hydrophilic after modified by 3MTB solution. In detail, its cell group can form coordination bond with the cell, and the polar function group will make a third substrate hydrophilic. Hence, more geosmy mist will be enriched on third substrate, so as to enhance sensitivity of third center. Geosmy mist is important in our experiment, which will generate as these steps. Firstly, geosmine gas was produced from geosmine solution by bubbling method, and the temperature of the solution was controlled by water bus heating method. When hot geosmine gas adhered to cold substrate, geosmine mist was formed. With the accumulation of geosmine mist on source substrate, the same geosmine water film appeared. Finally, geosmine molecules were detected by Raman spectrometer. Therefore, a classification and the detection system has been developed so as to conduct the experiment. As can be seen from this picture, the carrier gas is generated by this pump, which is fluorent set by the mass flow controller. The formed geosmine gas was detected in the process of detection. And in the detection process, this substrate was fixed in the mental chamber. A computer controlled mobile stage was designed to for the needed adjusting of the laser focus. It's not worthy that a portable Roman spectrometer was employed to obtain Roman spectrum. And then I'd like to explain the experiment of Roman peak conformation and the modification of the sensor. In the section of peak conformation, a commercially available source substrate was firstly washed. Next, the detection sample was made by diluting standard geosmine 
without pure water and tap water. Finally, Raymond characteristic peak of geosmi has been confirmed by comparing Raman peak of a slender solution with a 100 ppm older geosmi. As for the modification, source substrate was forcibly washed and then was separately immersed in shelf-fed ethanol solution. Finally, the modified source sensor was employed to detect the simple. Here comes our experimental result. Roman characteristic peak of standard geosmin solution and 100 ppm geosmin gas were obtained following the above three steps. By comparing these two spectra as shown in this graph, we can choose three of these peaks as the characteristic peak of geosmin. In order to find the best temperature for water based heating, the 10 ppb order geosmin solution has been detected at a condition of 40 to 80 centigrade, as shown in results of graph A. The time varying Roman spectral at 80 centigrade has been obtained. The Roman intensity of geosmin at 672 inverse centimeter increased 10 minutes in advance and then decreased. Hence, the maximum value has been selected as the final detection result. As shown in picture B, at the same conditions, the maximum Roman intensity was at 805 inverse centimeter, followed by the intensity at 672 inverse centimeter. Additionally, Roman intensity amplified with an increase of heating temperature. When the temperature came to 80 centigrade, the strongest Roman intensity had been obtained. Besides, the limit of detection by using bios substrate was 1 ppb as shown in graph C. In actual detection, however, it will be a little dangerous and consume more energy when the heating temperature is 80 centigrade. Hence, 50 centigrade was suitable for the detection requirements. Besides, the source substrate earns a fixed interference Roman shift near 820 inverse centimeter. Thus, Roman shift at 672 inverse centimeter was regarded as the characteristic peak of geosmin. In order to improve the sensitivity of source substrate, we modified the source substrate with the hot vinegar self-fed solution mentioned in the detection scheme. Firstly, the optimal hot vinegar self-fed solution had been obtained. From the result, it was found that the selected characteristic peak was detectable only when the substrate was modified by one micromolar 3 mtb solution. Therefore, this solution was used to modify source sensor to detect different geosmin concentration. As shown in graph B, the detection limit was 10 ppt, and the detection range varies from 0 0.01 ppb to 10 ppb. It's not worth it that the local the algorithm of the geosmin concentration has a good linear relationship with the Roman intensity. The limit of detection was calculated to be 5.4 ppt for geosmin in also pure water. At last, geosmin diluted by type of water was detected by the same method as shown above. In detection result, 100 ppt of the geosmin was detectable. The limit of detection was calculated to be 62.36 ppt. However, the Roman intensity at 672 inverse centimeter was lower 
compared with the geosmin diluted by ultra pure water at the same concentration. It's possibly because of the presence of other particles in untreated tap water, which affect the adsorption of geosmin molecules on the substrate. Therefore, it is necessary to filter chemicals so as to improve the sensitivity of the sensor. Finally, the test data provides support for the following conclusions. For, firstly, a geosmin gasification and detection system has been developed. Secondly, under the optimal heating condition, the hydrophilic sensor can detect 10 ppd of the geosmin in ultra pure water. And the limit value of detection is calculated to be 5.4 ppt. At last, the geosmin in table water was detected. Although the detection limit was set at 100 ppt, the good correlation has been confirmed. Okay, so thank you for your attention.